Welcome to our daily devotional here this Friday night, another cold evening, um, but uh, thankful to the Lord that he's given us the weather that we have. And uh, just to also let you know, we, uh, we appreciate all those that were able to come out and support our Kingdom Pantry and help uh, in many ways that you have. And so I pray that you continue to uh, make yourself resourceful, make yourself a, a blessing to somebody. And uh, that's just a way we look at it. Thank you so much for for what you can do for, to help us as we grow this ministry. Uh, as a reminder, still, we have Sunday service online. Uh, we're looking forward to being able to, uh, to, to be able to minister to you in this way. And, uh, you know, we continue to ask the Lord to give us wisdom and guidance as we can press forward and look for ways to be able to, to come together soon. Um, I want to open up a, a word of scripture, um, you know, a, a scripture found in Galatians chapter four, verse number seven. And it reads as follows. Now you are no longer a slave, but God's own child. And since you are his child, God has made you his heir. You know, a lot of times I think we've all said, it's my life. Um, you know, I, I'm free to do whatever I want. It's my choices that I, I make that I make in my life. And, and after a while, you know, you, you know, some of us choose to pursue popularity or a career. Um, some uh, pursue a relationship, some pursue um, living uh, whatever the way they want to live, you know, selfishly in some ways. And, uh, you know, some of us try to, to be perfect, you know, in people's eyes. And so we, we do things to please people. That's what we pursue. Um, and then there are those that pursue addictions. You know, that's all part of the pursuit of life. You know, we all f face these areas in one degree or another. And, you know, I, I, the reason why I bring this up is because, um, you know, after a while, the choice that you make to pursue, you you feel like like a, it's not a choice at all anymore. It, it actually, instead of being free, you're a slave to it. You're enslaved to to that which you pursue the greatest of. And I like how um, you know the Lord tells us before we commit our lives to Jesus, um, He reminds us that we are slaves to sin. He reminds us that we are slaves to the things that are in our life. And even if we try to be good, even if we try to do the right thing, that's still there. That bondage of what we are trying to pursue within our life, it, it begins to overwhelm us and take us. And freedom is an illusion. It really is. It's an illusion because, you know, you're tangled up in your sin, right? And it's impossible to actually... Uh, free ourselves from something that is enveloping us. It's holding us in. And when we commit our lives to Christ, when we commit our lives to Jesus, um, we actually become free from that slavery. The bondage of that is broken. The chain of that has been liberated from our life. And, and when we commit our lives to Christ now, we're now freed from that slavery. But that freedom comes to him now. Now we serve him. He becomes our master. And he frees us from the everyday things that control us, that hold us back, the things that seem to, to, to overwhelm us within our life. And, you know, I, I, I began to think that, you know, Jesus, he forgives us, right? Amen. That's, that's so grateful for what a lot of us need a lot to be forgiven for. Um, but he also heals us. He not only forgives, but he heals. And then he makes us whole. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for making me whole. And so I think that what we have to look at is that um, we shouldn't be discouraged in our in our lives if, if we don't see the instant change that we're looking for within our life. If anything, we should we should know that he knows what what his purpose is in our life. He knows exactly what his plan is for our lives. And so when we want to become that person, when we want to become what, what Christ wants us to be, He knows how to get us to that place. He knows how to bring us to that. And slowly but surely, He strips us of those things that hold us back. Slowly but surely, the Lord begins to unpeel all that which seems to be stuck to us. And it's best for us just to let Him have His way, amen? And that's what a master does. A master envelops you, takes over, 
becomes your all in all. It's what you pursue, it's what you love, it's what you live for. And, you know, I don't know how you've experienced your relationship with the Lord, if it's, if it's just happenstance or if it's just, uh, uh, you know, passing. God wants to be your Lord of everything. He wants to be the Lord of your life. As the scripture it reveals that, he, he, you know, he wants us to have this deep encounter with him. And so, you know, I, I believe that he knows what your purpose is and what is best for you and what is good at the moment and how you will experience it if you would just surrender your will to him. You know, you know, he will help, he will help get past the things that hold you back because that's what he does. What are you pursuing? What is it that you're, you're living for? Because if it's, if it's holding you back, once you give your life to him wholeheartedly, he gives you freedom from it. You're no longer enslaved to it. He becomes your master and he's a good master. He takes care of his children. He does what's best for us. I want you to bow your heads as we get ready to dismiss the, this week's daily devotion because I do believe that you know, we, we face sometimes some difficult decisions on what it is we want in life and really looking at it, what's more important. Lord, I come before you and I uplift each and every single one of us, Lord, because we all have pursuits in our hearts and we, we have a passion for what it is that we're trying to pursue. But Lord, as you begin to reveal some of these things that control us and take over our lives, no longer are we the masters of it, it becomes the master of us. And in that, God, in that simple understanding, Lord, you come in and you give freedom. You give a freedom, Father, that we can't gain on our own. I thank you, Father, for that. I ask you, Lord, that you would help us see it, that you would reveal it to us ever more present now in our life than it ever has been. Help us understand, God, that you're doing so much for on our behalf. I thank you, Father, that our eyes will be opened and we will be able to see that you as the master know what's best. I pray blessing over your children now. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you. May the Lord be gracious unto you. May the Lord turn his face towards you. And may he give you peace throughout this week. May God bless you. I look forward to seeing you on Sunday through our, our, uh, our, our services. And then once again, we come back again on Monday as we continue our, our daily devotions, as we study God's word. God bless you.